Hey, what's up? So you want to make sound mods for Deadlock. It's actually a really simple process. All you need is the CSDK 12 and Source 2 Viewer, and of course the sound file of your choice, and a program that can export audio like Audacity. You want to find the sound file that you want to replace in your game's Pack 1 DIR. So down here in Sounds, Music, let's say I want to replace Music Title 155 BPM when you start up the game. You're going to go and you're going to recreate the folder structure. So sounds music. This is where you're going to put the fully compiled sound file. What you're going to do is you're going to open the sound file that you have. So here's Windows NT 5.0. We're going to export this audio. And what you're going to see here is in my documents folder, in my reduced CSDK, I'm putting it in content citadel. And the only, only thing I'm messing with is the 44 100 hertz. Okay, that's all that matters really is that it's in your content citadel folder. Let's open your tools. So here we have Windows NT 5.0 startup sound. If it's not in the V sound format and you don't have this option, all you have to do is hit play sound and then it will automatically compile it. You open the folder, you right click it, you open the folder or you locate the game citadel folder yourself. You go back to your recreated folder structure and you copy the file to your recreated folder structure and then you just have to make sure that you copy the name of the file that you want to replace so music title 155 bpm dot v sound c and then in source to viewer you want to click file create vpk add existing folder then you select the folder of the mod that you want to create and then you'll see that it looks it looks like you just took that small portion of the existing file structure and you made it into a new VPK. You click you right click it, you press save VPK, you create a VPK according to the naming conventions, which is pack and then a two digit number. And then you launch your game. And it should just work. It's very simple. And now when we load into the game, the Windows NT startup sound should play. There you go. 